In this lesson, we're going to focus on graphing exponential functions. So what we need to do is pick two points. Let's use 0 and 1. Anything raised to the 0 power is always 1. And 2 to the first power is itself 2. You can think of this as 2 to the x plus 0. This number here is the horizontal asymptote. So if you don't see a number there, the horizontal asymptote is the x-axis. So y is equal to 0. That's the horizontal asymptote. So now let's go ahead and graph it. So the first point is 0, 1. That is the y-intercept. And the next point is 1, 2. So we're going to start from the horizontal asymptote, which is the x-axis and then it's going to increase. Exponential functions, they increase at an increasing rate. And that's how you can graph it. Now, what is the domain of the function? And what is the range? So the domain has to do with the x values. The lowest x value is negative infinity, and the highest is infinity. So for all exponential functions, the domain will be all real numbers. Now the range is limited. The range has to deal with the horizontal asymptote. The lowest y value is 0. The highest y value is infinity. So the range is from 0 to infinity, but it does not include 0. The graph never touches the horizontal asymptote. It gets very close to it, but it never touches it. There's no value that you can plug in for x that will give you a y value of 0. It just doesn't happen. Here's the next example. Graph this one, 1 over 3 raised to the x. So if you had a fraction like this, what should we do? The best thing to do is to rewrite it. If we move the 3 to the top, positive x will change to negative x. And so that's it. Now, let's set negative x equal to two things, 0 and 1. If you solve and find the value of x, x will be 0 and negative 1. Those are the values that you want to plug in. So if we plug in 0, 3 to the negative 0 is simply 1. And if we plug in negative 1 into this equation, 3 raised to the negative negative 1, that's going to be 3 to the 1, which is equal to 3. Now, the horizontal asymptote is this number. So it's still y equals 0, which means it's the x-axis. So if we plot it, we have the point 0, 1, which is the y-intercept, and negative 1, 3. So the graph is going to start from the x-axis, and then it's going to follow those two points. Let's do that again. So that's the graph. The domain is going to be all row numbers. Unlike the other one, the range, the y values vary from 0 to infinity. So that's going to be the range. Let's try this example. 3 raised to the x minus 2 plus 1. So what we're going to do is set x minus 2 equal to two things, 0 and 1. And let's solve. The value of x when x minus 2 is 0 is going to be 2. If we add 2 to both sides, 1 plus 2 is 3. So those are the two x values that we're going to use. So what is the value of y when x is 2? So 3 raised to the 2 minus 2 plus 1. 2 minus 2 is 0, and 3 to the 0 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. Now let's plug in 3. 3 minus 2 is 1. 
3 to the first power is 3, 3 plus 1 is 4. So those are the points of interest. The horizontal asymptote is based on this number. So it's y is equal to 1. Now let's go ahead and graph it. So we have a horizontal asymptote at y equals 1. And we have the points 2 comma 2 and 3 comma 4. So here's 2 comma 2 and this is the point 3 4. So it's going to start from the horizontal asymptote and then it's going to increase towards those points. And so that's how you can graph it. As always the domain is all real numbers. And as for the range, it starts from the horizontal asymptote of 1, and it goes to infinity. The lowest y value is 1, the highest is infinity. So the range is from 1 to infinity. And so that's it for this one. Let's try one more example. 5 minus 2 raised to the 3 minus x. So to find the two points that we need, let's set 3 minus x equal to 0. Therefore, that means x is equal to 3. And if we set it equal to 1, 3 minus 2 is 1, so x is 2. Now let's make a table. And let's use the points 2 and 3. So what is y when x is 2? 3 minus 2 is 1. And 2 to the first power is 2, so 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. Now what is y when x is 3? 3 minus 3 is 0. 2 to the 0 is 1. 5 minus 1 is 4. Now what is the horizontal asymptote? The horizontal asymptote is the constant in the equation. In this case, it's y is equal to 5. Now we can graph it. So let's start with the horizontal asymptote at 5. So we have the point 2 comma 3 and also 3 comma 4. So the graph is going to start from the horizontal asymptote and then it's going to follow the two points. So it's decreasing in this case due to the negative sign in front. And that's how you can graph it. The domain is all real numbers negative infinity to infinity. Now what is the range? Notice that the lowest y value is negative infinity. The highest is positive 5. So the range is from negative infinity to 5. Now let's review four generic shapes of exponential functions. The first one we've considered, 2 raised to the x. So this function increases towards quadrant 1. The next one is 2 raised to the negative x. And this graph reflects over the y-axis. So it increases towards quadrant 2. Next, we have negative 2 raised to the positive x. This graph reflects over the x-axis. And so it travels towards quadrant 4. And then finally, negative 2 raised to the negative x this graph reflects across the origin relative to the first one and so it travels towards quadrant 3. So here's what I like to do to keep this in mind. This is the way I remember it. We have positive x and positive y. Positive x travels towards the right. Positive y travels upward. So therefore this graph it's going to go towards quadrant 1. 
Now the next one, which goes towards quadrant 2, notice that x is negative and y is positive. x is negative towards the left, y is positive going up. So you're heading towards quadrant 2. In the third example, we're going towards quadrant 4. x is positive, y is negative. x is positive towards the right, y is negative as you go down. So we're going towards quadrant 4. And the last one, which is towards quadrant 3, both x and y are negative. x is negative towards the left, y is negative as you go down, so we're heading towards quadrant 3.